Uh, now moving towards our uh, next uh, speaker of today, uh, I would like to uh, invite Mr. Kamran uh, Ghazimov. Um, he is one of the most famous anchor and journalist from Real TV, uh, Baku, Azerbaijan. So Mr. Kamran, over to you. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I think uh, we appreciate this event exactly. So um, the process taking place in the world today show that the activities of various international organizations really need an update. Recent events have shown that the non-alignment movement is the main theater of the renewal. In general, this renewal was needed after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Republic of Azerbaijan, which has chosen uh, not join any military alliance in its foreign policy has been a member of non-alignment movement since 2011. Azerbaijan pursues a foreign policy aimed at developing cooperation with all countries and a balanced policy without joining any military bloc. For this reason, our country decided in 2011 to become a full member uh, of the non-alignment movement, which has observer status. He joined the movement at the 16th ministerial conference in Bali that year. The territorial integrity of our country has been incredible, recognized by the member states uh, within the organization and our rightful position has always uh, been supported in international affairs. We conclude, conclude from our analysis that the organization has entered the new, new phase Science Azerbaijan chaired the organization. One of the reasons uh, for this is that Azerbaijan is multicultural, tolerant, and far from xenophobia. First of all, President Ilham Aliyev has developed a broader action plan based on these principles. As you know, uh, Mr. President uh, of Azerbaijan Republic, Ilham Aliyev, because before me, uh, many speakers said about this, addressed the UN uh, General Assembly. Azerbaijan has provided humanitarian financial assistance to more than 30 countries, including the non alignment movement in the fight against the pandemic. Azerbaijan contributes to the goals and principles of non alignment movement by participating in meetings and conferences at various levels and uh, strengthen uh, military relations with member countries. I would like, it's a very important uh, point, I think, I would like to highlight one issue. In October last year, I attended the summit of European News Exchange, INEX, and INEX is the uh, more than 40, uh, 40 countries included this organization, with their tele, uh, TV broadcasters. And it's the uh, information uh, ec news exchange platform, one of the uh, important in the world. So uh, I would like, uh, last year I participated in the summit and I would like to say that NX, European News Exchange, um, there have several members and part of them are from South America, South America, and it's a direct member of the non alignment movement. It was stated at the summit that significant progress has been made in the activities of the non alignment movement over the past two years. Past two years, of course, the expression of these opinions uh, of this opinion is connected with the leadership of President Ilham Aliyev's non alignment movement since 2000. 19. The successful, uh, successful balanced policy pursued by Azerbaijan, in fact, uh, demonstrates to the world a new model, model of diplomatic relations. What contributes have Azerbaijan made to the non alignment movement during its chairmanship? It was a result of these contributions and successful foreign policy pursued in general that the countries of non alignment movement during the patriotic war expressed their support to Azerbaijan. Today, the really, really is that the Republic of Azerbaijan is committed to the spirit and principles of non alignment movement. Our country pursues a foreign policy aimed at developing cooperation with all countries and a balanced policy, policy without joining any military bloc. I repeat again. Thank you so much, 